Hey guys, this is George from Firehouse Music. And today I wanted to talk about a new series that I'm, I'm going to uh, release after the, the saga of the guitar neck. And I was thinking about it and something that um, I haven't done much of is a traditional notation. So what I'm talking about is like the staff with the quarter notes and eighth notes and all that stuff. And um, um, historically, guitar players, and I think that's true today, and it certainly was uh, when I was coming up, um, are pretty lousy readers. And that's something that I personally didn't want to be. So um, when I went to school and everything, I made sure that my reading was up to par and did a lot of work um, on uh, my ability to read notation. And what I learned is that it's just like all scales, sure, it takes time and uh, practice and all, but it's not as inaccessible as you think. A lot of times, I think what's keeping people from learning notation is, um, well, one is they don't see the purpose of it. They don't they don't understand why they should. And I'll, I'll talk about it, about that in just a second. Um, and then you have the uh, people that think like, no, that's just too hard. Because when you look at it, um, and that you know takes me back when I was a little kid and uh, watching my mom uh, play the piano and looking at uh, those you know scores that she was reading from, all that stuff, it looked like a foreign language. So it's uh, um, I can understand the intimidation factor and I guess perpetuated sometimes by um, academia and, and the teachers themselves because um, if you if you make something seem complicated and, and you know how to do it, you look really smart. But the reality is like it's not that hard. And so what I thought I'd do is break it down into man manageable chunks. So we'll, you know, we'll talk about notation and how it works. And uh, we'll go over the fundamentals of notation and how it applies to the guitar, right? I'm a guitar player, so I'm going to try to uh, bring it back to the guitar. Um, I think there's plenty of material already that will show you how notation works as it relates to keyboard instruments. And uh, um, what I find... in that's one of the things that um, sort of complicate things, complicates things because like you go, you study music theory in school and everything and you're learning it, you're learning notation from a keyboard or, or piano centric um, perspective. So then you have to translate that onto your instrument. And what I want for you guys is um, for you to understand how notation gets applied uh, to the guitar itself. And uh, I thought that would be um, a good um, a good series to go over, and um, um, it's certainly something that we don't really talk about a lot here in the classroom because a lot of the, a lot of the times we are more focused on the technique and, and you know how to play the instrument or maybe songs that you guys want to do. If you're my uh, my student, um, you should certainly uh, take advantage of this. I, I use this channel to put out things that I normally don't get time to. I uh, teach here in the classroom, and uh, um, and if you're not my student, then well, you know, you get content that I think is beneficial, and that you can discuss with your own teacher. I think everybody should have a teacher. Uh, it doesn't have to be me, as long as you have somebody who's qualified, who knows what they're doing, and they can teach you um, the ins and out of playing the instrument. Um, and then you can um, pair use the material that I'm going to put here to. Um, um, help you understand a little bit better because I, I think the the perspective that I offer on notation is a little bit unique. It's, it's different than um, other teachers. Um, so I'm looking forward to it and uh, I hope you guys, uh, um, you know, we'll, we'll get into it and, and uh, um, if I can get you uh, reading more, uh, that will be great because I think being a literate musician is uh, just as important as being a literate person. Like, you know, in this day and age, if you don't know how to use a computer or you don't know how to read, well, you know, that's unheard of, right? And for some reason, music would think like, oh, I, I can get away with with not with not reading. And um, um, I don't think I don't think that that's really it at all. Like maybe in the beginning, right, you can focus on tablature and and I have nothing against tablature. I use tablature all the time. It's a, it's a great way to um, explore the mechanical aspect of playing. it. But if you want to understand analysis and how how notes fit um, in specific points in time in music, 
um, I think notation is a must. It, it, uh, um, it's akin to um, like a map to geography. Um, you can't really understand geography if you're not if you're if you're not looking at a map. Um, you you can write it off, you know, data, but but you're not really going to understand it. And I think notation is that important. Um, so, in practical terms, why notation, right? Why are we going to learn how to read music? Well, um, first of all, there's a ton of material that's either public domain, free that you can get that uh, um, um, it's written only or it's available only in standard notation. Um, if you want to read, you know, Bach's partitas or uh, any of the, the classical repertoire uh, on electric guitar, if you want to like shred that stuff, um, most of that stuff is mostly available uh, on uh, um, standard notation. Sure, you may find transcriptions here and there, but they're going to be select material. And unless the guy who transcribed it is a really good guy, um, the tabs are going to be of varying quality. So that is um, um, that is something else. So it's going to save you some time doing transcriptions of your own. If you, you can certainly sit down with a, a you know, recording of a, a piece that you're trying to learn and figure it out by ear. But uh, um, having the access to um, the notation is going to make things a little bit easier. And then there's instructional material, like the works of uh, people like Ted Green or Andrew Green. Um, uh, almost all of the good jazz guitar material is available only in uh, standard notation. There, there have been some efforts putting it out in tablature, but um, it. I still think the majority of the, the, the classic material um, it's only available in uh, standard notation, so that that leaves you, you know, to the mercy of the guys who are putting out this stuff and and translating it to tablature, which is, I think, it's a it's a commendable effort. You should certainly do it, make it more accessible to everybody. But if you had a chance to just look at the original material, why not take it? You know, why not study that and expand your horizons and your ability to do that? Um, especially when I. As I said, it's not as hard as it seems. It's it's. I'll show you a very simple step by step process to do it, um, and um, and yeah, and, and you you're gonna have access to it. You'll be able to do it, and your ability to play, your ear is gonna improve. Um, all those things. There's this myth that people say like, oh, if you read music, you your ears will atrophy. You won't be able to um, figure out music by ear. Then that that's just not true. That's not true at all. If if anything else. Uh, your ability to to hear um, tones is going to improve because you will have a direct connection to the paper. And um, I think a, um, a good, what's the word, milestone of your ability to read is when you, when you can look at a piece of um, music and when you read it, you can hear it in your head accurately. So you require, that requires a very well-developed musical ear. Um, if you're looking at the piece of paper and, and what's written is vague and you need to grab your instrument in order to hear what's going on, it means that you don't quite understand notation yet. Um, and But the good news is getting from that, like, oh, I don't know anything. It looks like, like a foreign language to... I'm looking at music and I can hear it in my head and when I play it on my instrument, it's accurate. Um, that gap is not as wide as you think it is. So in the next video, I'll start and I'll you know, show you guys some of the fundamentals. It's probably going to look a lot like a lot of the foundational material that you see in, in textbooks and other places because the beginning is the same. But as we get more and more into it, um, especially as we apply it to the guitar, you're going to see a little bit of that um, unique approach that I take to um, standard notation. Um, so I look forward to sharing that with you guys and I'll see you on the next video.